I'm going to tie a, an opossum type zonker. This is a banana opossum zonker. Uh, so what I've done here is I've taken a bit of, uh, this is gold 3.2 outer. This is actually one of rodents tubes and then this is a, a black uh, 1.8 inner and I suppose you have about two centimeters or so of the uh, of the gold. Now you can tie this fly if you want on things like US tubes or whatever and for free swinging uh, but just I've been asked to tie this one uh, for a fixed type hook and that's why we're going for this uh, plastic inner outer. However when you do that it's difficult then to get weight so what I'm going to do is attach the two of these together first and then I'm going to take a bit of this. Now this is adhesive lead strip it actually comes in two sort of like, I don't know if you can see the profile of it there, two little domed uh, strips about 3mm wide I'm going to cut a length of that off about 1cm and take the back end off one side of it then I can flip over my fly and set that on the underside and bind it on and that will give me a bit of a counterweight so the fly will swim on an even keel and give us that little bit of weight just to sink it I suppose as well. So now join the two of those together. So you can uh, if you want to put on a bit of something like braid at the back uh, or holographic tinsel or you can just tie straight on with dubbing. What I'm going to do here is create like a dubbing ball. So I'm going to use like a goldish light bright type material here. I'm going to dub that on. Fairly tightish. And I'm going to take a bit of, uh, this is a, a golden olive seal fur and I'm going to mix that with some of this gold uh, synthetic light bright type stuff put the two together like that and I'll get a sort of mixed dubbing I'm going to stretch that out down my tie and thread bind it on and I'm looking to create like a ball here I'm going to take another bunch of my gold light braid and I'm going to pull the fibres into line and set that on halfway along its length let it go the whole way around the shank a loose wrap on and then fold this all back now these are a bit long they're going to tangle so I'm just going to snip them off bit and that again will give me sort of like a halo effect. So uh, we're going to use like I said a possum. So I have here uh, a bit of future fly, a golden olive or banana coloured opossum. I'll take a blade try and cut out a strip of this stuff so I have, I don't know if you can see it, there's a straight line here so I'm going to start in maybe 3-4 mil at the top of where I want my strip and then under tension I'm going to slide it out towards the end so I end up with like a tapered you might not be able to see that end up with a tapered cut here so 
this is going to go over the top of this. Now you can uh, you can take your strip and turn it over onto the back, and you can just poke your blades through at the at this end of it to create like a little hole. And this the idea with that is that it'll then go on like this, gives you that kick, that sort of shape to it. So we'll put on a hackle first here. So I'm going to take a sort of fluorescent yellow-ish soft hackle. This is a two-toned one. I'll double that. Again, this is just a bit more support for that opossum zonker strip. So we tie that in its tip. Take our strip, poke the hole over, and slide it back. Now some of these fibers at this part of it will actually come down or around, and you can use that to create sort of like a fake hackle effect. And once it's in place, I'm going to put on a few wraps to hold that. Super glue on the thread. Wrap that on. Now, uh, I'm going to put in a couple of these sort of like rubber leg things. I'll pull out a strip of that there. Lay it across the top. And then this loop part of it, fold that back and tie over it, that'll stop it slipping out. And then you can just nick that into it and that'll give you two more shorter little legs. If you want you can pull them out the side. Then I want a bit of uh, mirage. Just for that little bit of flash. I'm going to set that in, not the full length of the wing here on this side, fold it over to the far side and then fold it back. Trim that off and that will just give you a couple of strands of flash. And then we're going to put in uh, some jungle cock eyes. So take two feathers here. on the side. And then to finish this one off what I'm going to do is uh, this is a cock pheasant rump and it's been dyed in a fluorescent yellow and a bit of olive. So if I take one of these feathers, they're like a spay type hackle. Uh, double it, hold it by its tip. Tie it in across the tip.
to finish this fly off I'm going to put on a little uh, hybrid cone or hybrid disc you know the thing so I'll take a super glue gel put a blob of that around the head and then we take this little hybrid disc thing push that back into that super glue blob and then take that off trim it off leaving mill or so there Flame down the inner tube and that is honestly down. That's our banana opossum zonker.